So now I'm back with the dies I said that I had haul, with this haul. Well, actually, it's technically probably like three hauls all together, but they're all done really close together. So again, these are the dies that came with the new Sizzix switch and the um, 3D embossing folder again. I'll bring that over here so you see it again. And there's one of the dies cut out. And here's the embossed folder. You can see the hard detail, it's 3D. It's really nice. It did a well, did a good job. So I'll put those aside because we've already reviewed those and that was part of the haul. But on the same trip, I got some more things at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna show you what I got on the same haul. So I also got these. These are to trim cards, or I thought they'd be good for trimming journaling pockets. And they have the, where you can sew and put thread in there. Um, just like the Spellbinder dies that I showed in one of my other videos, I thought they would go really well together. And as you can see, the price on this is $14.99. But I don't know, it's a sale they always, I don't think it's a sale they always have. And I don't know if today happens to be the very last day or yesterday was the last day, whatever. But all this stuff I got was 40% off. So Hobby Lobby doesn't have that 40% off coupon anymore, but they have to have 40% off all of their paper goods. Um, everything from Sizzix and um, this brand, Monenta. I've never even heard of it before, but I thought I'd try them. And um, Spellbinders. And, and of course, some other paper crafting things that they had on sale. So I also picked these um, Alphabet up. These are just a plain font. So nothing fancy, but it just seems like I never ever have um, what do you call it? sentiments when I need them. And well, this way I can make my own sentiments. It just seems like I have very few sentiment um, stamps in that. So that will fill in pretty well. And so then I picked these three up to decorate some things for my junk journals, pockets, belly bands, tucks, whatever great to embellish these are all tim holtz this one is the garden greens this one is uh, wildflowers stems number one this is wildflower stem number two now i don't know um if these would be considered small or medium or large i think it's, it's got three sizes i'm not sure I still thought these would work well with the junk journaling this size. I'm going to pull these out so you can actually see them. I'm going to move these things out of the way. So I think those are really lovely. I know they're kind of long, but could still get cut one here or whatever. But probably a medium size. Again, I think he has three sizes. I could be wrong. Don't know for sure. I'm going to put these back in here. Go ahead and open all these. I said I haven't even opened these ones at all. So, um, you know, in the comments, let me know what you think. You think these are good sizes for junk journals and that? Um, let me know what your, your opinion is on it. Um, also, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like my videos, follow me. It would be great. I would really appreciate it because, um, as you know, I'm still a new channel. I think these would be perfect sizes for junk journals and that. These are so cute. I'm, I'm anxious to get some things cut. Yeah, I'll get some things cut and, um, sh you know, show at, show you guys later. I'm not, I'm not going to put it in this video, but I'll show you later. These are like perfect. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. There's actually more in here than I thought. These will work so well. 
things. This one's got like little berries on it. Lay those all out so you can see them. One, two, three. Nine, it looks like nine of nine little dies. Awesome. Set that aside. And then here's the other one. These are um, wild stems number two. They're kind of large, but I can work with them for sure. Oh, these are going to be so cool. I've been watching people make things with these for a long time. I've been wanting these dyes like forever and a year. <laughs> like for a really, really long time. So at 40% off, I, I had to get them. Um, this is something I would normally spend, splurge on, but... I don't know how often I can get 40% off because I mean, I've been looking online at these and some of them are priced more than what these say. Um, let's see, $22.99, if you can see that. I've seen them more than that online in some places. So I thought, well, if I don't grab them, I'm going to regret it. And then I got these Tim Holtz butterflies. And you can never go wrong with butterflies, butterfly dyes. You can never, ever have too many butterflies or varieties of butterflies. Here's four of them. Now they go together. So one would be a background, and this one would be the one with the details. Once they're cut out, they will layer like that. So there's two butterflies. And then I've seen the granddaddy of all the butterflies this beautiful beautiful dye regularly $24.99 again 40% off I don't know what that equals to something in the teens $14-$15 dollars, something like that and I haven't even taken this one out yet as you can see it's still oh it's still taken um, under this oh my gosh I didn't know what oh, I'm not going to undo that right now but you can see the details on that. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm mean, just to try this out on my new, new die cutting machine with the magnetic plate that I have. I don't have the precision plate, I have a magnetic one, but I'm gonna try it for sure. All right, and then I also got these on the same haul. And this one I actually purchased um, a week or two before, a couple weeks ago at, at Hobby Lobby. And then this one I got off of um, Amazon. This one I got for free on Amazon, well, kind of for free in a way. Um, uh, because, well, I guess technically it wasn't free. I bought a die uh, punch and it didn't work properly and I returned it and so I had some money sitting on my account so of course it's like burning a hole in my pocket but I got those because I've always wanted them um I've always wanted all these and I always kept putting it off putting it off like oh I don't want to spend the money right now and well the last couple of videos Tim Holtz's did he said that they're not making any more of these so whatever is out on the market is out on the market so I thought, well, now that I'm finding them and not at a crazy expensive price, I'll go ahead and snag them up because I actually had been going on the internet looking for these. And like this one here, this one says $12.99. I was finding it for like around $20. And again, I got this 40% off. So, I mean, I, I had to get it. Um, this one I've used a few times. I've cut a whole bunch of these um, frame, picture frames out. But this is what they look like. So you got your 3D embossing folder part here and then this part side too but then it actually cuts it out for you it's all in one step it's just oh it just produces the most beautiful dyes let me see if i can find one real quick i should have pulled one out you can't really see the detail 
you can see the detail better on this one. Now I want to color these more with some crayons and do some things to really make that design pop out. They're just, they're just beautiful. That paper looks variegated because that paper was variegated. Pieces like that. The cream colored one. Try this dark brown one. Just running out of some silver cardstock. Almost like a pewter color. This looks like leather. It's just because the paper looked like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. And the details. But it looks like leather, tooled leather. I need a better light. Anyway, hope you can see that. Here's some white pearly paper. Polka dotted sparkly paper. Anyway, I think they just turned out wonderful. I just I'm excited about those. So that was this one. And then we got some angel wings. Angel wings are always on trend. I mean, there's, these are all classical designs that I feel won't go in or out of style or in and out of trend, whatever. I think they're always will be relevant. That's the word I want. They always will be relevant. Here's some, here's the angel wings. Those are going to be beautiful. Can you imagine making these and then putting one of Tim Holtz's paper dolls in front of it. Oh, this, this is cool. We have the heart and shamrock. And I wasn't sure. I've been wanting this one because I wanted the heart, but I really didn't care if I had the shamrock. But now that I got the shamrock, it's really cool. I'm sure that I'll find uses for it. And I have the leaf. Of course, you can always do the leaf for the fall, but you know, you got summer and spring, there's leaves. You don't have to be orange and burgundy and that. You can always make them nice and green and vibrant. And then I have this, it's called a switchlet. I had never seen this, that, this one there before. I never seen one in person. Actually, when I picked it up. I thought it was just like one of these. I didn't realize what it was, but it's really cool. Because you're not familiar with these. So you got your 3D embossing folder part, and then here is like a little piece of metal or magnets probably. Then inside here you get these little rings. So you can have the border like any look like whatever way you want, like like a plain round um, clean edge. Or you can have this one with a little zigzag. And then this one here is more rounded, more scallopy. I'm excited to try that too. It'd be cute if you're making like a little red ribbon or, or something like that. Like if you're doing a, a cooking journal and you have a, a pie recipe that you've entered into the into the, your local fair and you won the blue ribbon prize, that'd be really cool. Then you could highlight it with we'll a little blue ribbon on it. I think that'd be awesome. So anyway, so let me set these aside. I'm making a mess. And then on that same visit, I also picked up some uh, hot foil, glimmer hot foil, um, the rainbow one, like a light bluish turquoise pink, really iridescent silver, like a rainbow, it's the multicolors and then the different faceted. Um, the trip before this to Hobby Lobby, I picked up the Spellbinders Glimmer Foiler. Uh, I've been wanting one for a really long time. I've been looking at prices online and they were roughly $120 because that's retail price and I've seen them more expensive. And I went to Hobby Lobby's website because I check all kinds of websites out and seen they had it for $75, but it said online only. And so, so I thought, well, because our Hobby Lobby is like 35 miles from, from where I live. So we had to be in town. I thought, you know, it's not going to hurt to pull into Hobby Lobby. It always hurts. You know, if I, you know what I mean? My pocketbook. <laughs> but it's not going to hurt to go in this look. Because, you know, they said it's online only. They're probably not going to have one. And sure enough, they had one. And I snagged that puppy right up. I mean, I grabbed it. 
in in the same way with that uh the switch that i guess got it it was like th that's 30 percent off a of regular retail i mean you can't go wrong with that uh, all right so anyway then i i mentioned before in one of my other videos that i joined the large and small die club with spellbinders and this is the march club and this looks like it's a slimline card but of course you got the flowers you can do separate and leaves and you can you know you don't have to do it as a card you can break this up and use the components differently that was really pretty Got to play with that that's a beautiful way to decorate journaling pages and then month before i don't know if i showed you did the die that went with this but anyway this is the month before i made this birthday card the background here is a jelly print i made i know it's really busy um and then i just cut out some of the flowers as part of this die set so um type typewriter so that was real fun to make and then this one is a is a bunny bunny with um balloons a bunny with clouds and i'm looking at this thing trying to figure it out I see this and I see that. I'm like, what on earth are those for? I've been studying it and studying it. I think when you assemble this a certain way, I think your bunny, you can get it to swing back and forth. I'm guessing. I'm going to have to play with that. Um, I don't make cards very often, but I do enjoy making cards because it feels like it's a small art project where I don't feel overwhelmed. Like, i got to make this big page or whatever, or it's something that I can just cut out and take a a crafting mat or whatever into my into bed with me <laughs> basically and watch tv and i can assemble a card you know it's just something that i don't have to put a lot of co concentration on when i'm making things so um i just wanted to go over real quickly how i store my dies this is just one package of dies or one package these are the ones that i in the, in the spellbinders um monthly die kit club what do you even call it i don't know die of the month club so i've been putting them this in here this is from the dollar tree back when it was the dollar tree not the dollar and a quarter tree <laughs> but i just place them in there so i i just took a large size um like sandwich size ziploc bag i think these are quart size this is the the die set for the the typewriter see all those different parts and see all the flowers in that and see those will blend well with those um those tim holtz uh greenery ones so they're all about roughly the same size so i have some I really have some dyes now to work with and here's another one of them dyes where you use thread you do some sewing beautiful and then this one, I, you see me do a video on this one. It's this pocket with a heart. And this is another card I haven't even made yet. And these are free gifts. Here's the here's one I've showed before. I've started to make. I have to finish something. But see how it's got the, the sewing? So I thought these would go really well together. Really well. So I'm, I'm really anxious to make pockets and things like this. And here's some more. Uh, it has like a frame um, to make a card. But you can still use it in the junk journal. I want to find a way. I want to utilize my dies. Um, and this is like the, I call it the mechanical die machine <laughs> uh, versus the Cricut. I, I like them both. I spoke about that a little while ago. But with the mechanical or the traditional type of die machine, you can get this, do these three dimensional type bossing, where I know you can't do that with a Cricut. Um, but the each other place, I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm just fortunate enough to have them both. Well, no, I have three. Um, I'm just really unfortunate. But anyway, so I just thought you might want to see my quickly see my little haul. I do have a handful of more dies because I really didn't have very many until until recently but anyway i hope you enjoyed this and again i'll see you later this is Lori, the crafter in the mitten bye